All right. right, we are here uh, post our first stage of the Prairie State Cycling Series for NCC Crits in the Chicago area. Tonight we were in the Beverly Hills or Beverly neighborhood of Chicago. Um, 90 minute criterium. Um, I think we did 40 laps of a pretty technical course with a short steep hill and the uh, race started in the rain so the first 45 minutes we had uh, wet roads to deal with but um, <coughs> We had Jackie Symes in a break of four guys. Um, he finished third. So, Jackie, uh, first of all, you were incredibly aggressive tonight. Right from the gun, it was obvious you were feeling good. So, what was on your mind tonight? Were you, uh, were you feeling as good as it looked? <clears throat> yeah, um, I had good legs tonight. Uh, it was a tough course. Uh, obviously, it would have been tough in the dry, but I think the rain added another dimension to it. And um, I was taking the turns really well and losing some guys in the turns. Some guys were falling down, actually, and people were getting nervous. So... <clears throat> um, you know, I decided to start hitting it and try to try to ride for a break, and I ended up first off the front by myself, and then um, I was caught by Brad White and Ryan Atchison, and then a few laps later, Carl, Carl Menzies bridged up. And so when you found yourself, we were probably 30 minutes into the race at that point, um, so, you know, a full hour to go, um, but in a move with you know, two UHC riders, were they working right away? Were they committed to the break? Like, what? how did you evaluate things up there? Yeah, I mean, as soon as it was both of them there, uh, they were both pretty clearly committed to the break, um, which was good for me because it, you know, took, it took some pressure off me having to try to drive it. You know, I could basically pull through and, you know, do what I had to, but I didn't, you know, certainly didn't have any responsibility to try to drive the break away. That was, uh, that was on them. And once you were sure you guys were going to get to the finish, um, how did that dynamic mm -hmm. play out? When did you guys start racing to win? And, and you know, in your mind, you know, what what are the possibilities here? What you know, how are you trying to come up with a plan for for winning the bike race, knowing that you've got two UHC mm -hmm. guys in the break together? What, what what you know, what's on your mind in that scenario? Right. Well, um, I'd have I'd have preferred for it to come down to just a sprint out of us four. Um, you know, that's two two of their strongest guys. I didn't didn't really want to get into a situation where they were just both attacking, but um, that's what ended up happening. And just inside two to go, Brad White hit out really hard up the hill. Um, uh, I went after him, but Carl was right on my wheel. And um, after I chased for a little while, I saw that, you know, if I if I would have been able to catch him, Carl would have just gone right over the top, and then. Um, he would have been gone. That would have been the same situation, except even more tired than I was. So, um, you know, after I couldn't close the gap right away, I just sat up and decided to try to uh, position for the sprint and play that game. Yeah. And so you ended up second behind Carl in the sprint for... Yeah. Um, second. Carl, Carl was leading out, and um, I got on his wheel, but uh, he wound up just kind of steady out of the last corner, picking up speed the whole way to the line, and I wasn't, wasn't able to get around him. Yeah. There's... I mean, essentially, only a few people this season have cracked the UHC <clears throat> sweep of the podium. So many races that they've been first, second, and third, and so it's a short list of guys who've been able to crack the top three when they have a full team there. So it's definitely a good ride for you, and, and good ride for the team with Shane Klein also in seventh place. Um, you know, coming here with only a four-man team and to put two guys in the top ten, uh, real successful ride for you and for Shane and for the team. So looking forward.